Welcome folks, so back with another video on the Bigfoot Sasquatch. So following on from the previous videos, we're working our way from Australia all the way back to the US. So we, we had the, the Yowie in Australia, we had the Yeti. And now we're going to, I'm going to read, this is only a short one, but uh, uh, it's very interesting. Uh, as some of you may not know, the, the U.S. Army in Vietnam during the war, they came across these Bigfoot Sasquatch in the jungles of Vietnam and Laos. It's uh, many accounts, so I'm going to read you some information about the wild man of Southeast Asia, known as the Ngui Hung, or Forest Man. Uh, other names is the Kaya Trao, which translates as Buffalo Monkey or Big Monkey. Their physical description... Their height is less than five feet, covered in reddish, grey, brown or black hair. The back of the forearm, forearm is said to have a sharp bone, allegedly has a tail. Behaviour, bipedal, climbs trees easily, uses its forearms to cut through jungle undergrowth. Food consists of roots, plants and the sap of banana trees. Shakes trees for insects, sleeps in rocky areas. Said to raid villages in search of food. Attracted to human campfires at night. Well, just like their cousins everywhere else, right folks? The mountain peoples formerly ate them. It Laos, it is said to eat humans with a preference for the intestines. That's also interesting because, uh, you know, from the many accounts of, of, of Sasquatch, uh, you know, especially for hunters, when hunters have killed, uh, have shot an animal, and you know they 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 arrive and the animal is the the animal is not there, or they arrive and the deer is there, but the intestines and uh, the heart and the kidneys are all taken. Are only taken the the let the rest is left there for the for the hunters, and that makes sense because the the Sasquatch they're 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 going for the. You know the most uh, the most nutritious parts of of, of the deer, which is the, the where the, the most vitamins, which makes sense, and uh, so it's kind of the same here with the intestines, um, the tracks, uh, human like but smaller. Length 11 inches with 6 inches long toes and there they live in mountain forests. Uh, their distribution uh, three border region of Vietnam including the Annam Highlands, Cambodia and Laos. Significant sightings. Late on the night of August 23rd, 1947, a group of Jari, Sedeng and Banner mountain people were traveling from Con Maar to Con Brai in the Annan Highlands of Vietnam when they surprised a hairy man who growled and ran away into the forest. Zoologist Dao Van Tien learned about the wild man when he stayed at the Chin Chao, Vietnam in 1963. His informant said it sneaked into houses at night and stole food. A U.S. Army Company depot map commander named Powell fired at something moving outside the perimeter while he was on guard duty at the ammunition area of the base at Kang Mount Bay, Vietnam in 1967. Some drops of blood were found and an odd footprint said to be neither human nor ape was photographed. Wild men reports became so common during the Vietnam War that, the, that in 1974, General Hung Ming Tao, commander of North Vietnamese forces in the highlands, requested a scientific survey of the region north of Kung Tung. Professors Vu Ki and Li Vu Khoi from Hanoi University 
and Hong Wangqing from the Institute of Archaeology in Hanoi were part of the expedition. No in Hung were found. In 1979, Dao Vinh Chin heard of a slightly taller wild man in the highlands around Pli Ku, Vietnam, that was in the habit of ripping into banana trees to get the sap. Professor Tran Hong Viet found the footprints of a wild man in 1982 on the slopes of Chumu Re Mountain in Kontong Province. Anthropologist Helmut Lux Wusua collected stories in 1996 about a wild man called Beru around the village of Ban Kadar, some 30 miles to the north of Mung Kung Kung in the highlands of Laos. Yeah, so there you go, folks. A little short history about the Bigfoot Sasquatch in Southeast Asia and although this report this information I just said describes them as being less than five feet I've also read in other sources that there's also much bigger uh, creatures uh, sighted over there perhaps different another different uh, another different type more more akin to the bigfoot sasquatch of that we're all that we're all used to you know but uh yeah like i repeat myself every video these things are everywhere in the world and we don't know anything about them or we're not being told anything about them but uh, yeah, maybe one day, folks. Maybe one day. Okay. Hope you like this one, and uh, I'm gonna be doing another one. I'll do another one tomorrow on another area of the world. Okay. Take it easy, folks. Bye for now.